<laughs> We're live. Yay. Okay. So, oops, excuse me. Now it's the same thing I do every week and just double checking that I'm actually live. Can I see myself? Ooh. Rebecca, I love what you've done there. Oh, <gasps> so many designs. Okay, so let me see. Let me see, let me see. It has come up in a weird way. Please excuse me. Yep, there we go. I'm live, I'm live. Let's do it. Yay, okay. Thank goodness it's working. Just before I went live, Poopers was roaming about and she was absolutely threatening to jump up. Excuse me while I move this so it is a little more stable. She was absolutely threatening to jump up on just on everything. <laughs> no, no. So tonight we're going to be oh, flip, sorry, working on a watercolour galaxy and it is relaxation. Hello to whoever can see me now. Hi. I am very much looking forward to it because I love painting watercolour galaxies and um, I know I said liquid watercolours but I did actually mean uh, like the tubes. So the colours I used in this one, oh flip's sake again, turquoise, aqua pink and I can't remember if it's either Prussian blue or indigo but we'll give it a go. Becca also said she just had the pans, so I'm going to actually do two sm small ones. Hey Sandra! Two small uh, things on watercolour paper just to show you the difference in the pigment, Becca. Hi! Between these types of pans and then these types of tubes. Um, I find, is, is this the kind of pan that you have? Because that is like the cheapest set and I do, I love it for doing things like this which I will then go and I will cut shapes out of this and it will end up becoming um, collage paper but like you can definitely feel it's like the stuff comes off on your fingers it's really strange and gritty Sandra could you um, tag folks like Stacy and everybody because I was having technical issues as I mentioned in the group and I had to create a brand new streamy thingy Oh, that'll, that should be okay. It should be pretty pigmented. I think I have that one too, somewhere. I have so many watercolour pants. <laughs> uh, I actually love this and I wish you could still get it. Um, Cause it has pretty much all the colours that you need. It's the Jane Davenport one. And it's just like, I can you tell I use it a lot? <laughs> Absolutely love it. It's so bright. Just everything is, so, oh, it's bog. And actually I need to clean that out. <laughs> hey, gross. Yeah, I need to give that a clean. Oh my gosh. Um, I actually need it. I think I'm going to give my craft room a wee clean out since I have so many supplies. Hello to whoever has joined us and is watching along. Just make sure I gathered up my supplies. Poopers may make an appearance, perhaps, while uh, we're just sitting around. Stacey, hello! While we're just sitting around. Sandra, you're on YouTube as well. I was wondering why your name was coming up strange not strange your your face wasn't there that's what i meant <laughs> oh my gosh i knew i had to tell you guys something so um we are <laughs> we are dog sitting an 11 month old um i think he is a boxer slash pit bull and he is energetic Ugh. i am dead this entire week but he is so cute he is so snuggly. He loves getting hugs and snugs. And I learned really quickly not to make the noise. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got a dog this week. Yeah, I was having problems, Sandra. You are absolutely correct. For some reason, the, the original thing, so I am able to schedule these in advance, as you know, so you guys can get reminders. For some reason, it was saying that the group was disconnected and I... Oh, Stacey, that is all on me, lady. That's all on me. Uh, the StreamYard that I used was just saying that the group wasn't connected, even though I connected it, I reconnected it, I disconnected it, and then I reconnected it again. I tried about 10 different times, and then I realized that, <laughs> well, he is 
an absolute clown. He is a wee farkas. He's so funny. He was on the sofa, just kind of sitting like a good boy. And I came in with some washing just the other end of the sofa and I got on my knees to hang it on the thing. And he did like a wee, wee army crawl all the way over to see what I was doing. He's so cute. But yeah, I'm absolutely exhausted. And I keep getting asked if I want a dog. And I'm like, nah, not anymore. <laughs> nope, don't have the energy. Although, guys, I was reading a book today about fatigue and all the different types of fatigue. And uh, just as Spoonies, I know that um, you all suffer from fatigue, but I realized that I have adrenal fatigue and I don't know how 12 years on, that's the first time I've realized that. I did the test and everything and shining the light into my pupils and checking my responses. So yeah, I found a few very interesting videos from doctors and things talking about adrenal fatigue and the things that you can do to try and combat it. So I'm going to be a guinea pig. Falco. What? Edie Falco. She's an actress. She was in The Sopranos. I was like, I know that name. Why is it called Falco? I like that name. It's just unusual. What kind of dog is Falco? I forget. I'm sorry. I have got a memory like a sieve or a colander if you're in the States. So yeah, I don't know if Stacey saw, but we're going to be, oh, I've got water all over my other pan. So this is a watercolor palette where all of my tube watercolors live. And the beauty of these is all you have to do is add water again to reactivate. And I'm going to show the difference between uh, these the tube ones and then using a wee cheapy palette. So I've got two pages here and we're going to get started. So what we are doing is a wet on wet technique today. And I hope that it is super relaxing for you and just helps to just get you to wind down at the end of the week. I, I absolutely love this. I think I'm going to be tidying the craft room and also painting galaxies all weekend, quite possibly. <laughs> it's just nice. How's everybody's week been? I got so excited um, at the start of the week because I was just like, you know what? I am going to run the challenge again because it was the Daily Creator Challenge. Charlotte went through it. I know Rachel went through it. Actually, could you tag Rachel as well, just in case she wants to see it and uh, is in the wrong place or it hasn't showed up for her. Um, <clears throat> so those gals went through it. I got great feedback from them and I thought it would be incredibly helpful to start the challenge again. And I was just setting everything up for that and getting it promoted. And I am so excited. It's one of my favorite things. Every night I'll be going live at seven o'clock, same time for five nights and it goes through uncovering the most common limiting beliefs that crafters have and what actually stops them from being creative on a daily basis um how we can combat those with just really simple quick shifts the really simple and effective strategies that we can use to do that so <clears throat> like the goal setting strategies and the pitfalls to avoid, like what not to do so that you don't end up doing too much or stressing yourself out. This challenge, it's perfect for everybody, but it is brilliant for Spoonies because it is just a management. It's just all about management. And I like, I love teaching this stuff. It is in association with Create Room, the folks who made my big giant craft cabinet. They developed the Create Room journey. And I, <clears throat> they asked me to like look over it. And when I did, I was just like, do you know what? This is fantastic. But there are a few, like if it was a bucket, there'd just be like a couple of wee holes where people could fall out and just not do it, not do the daily creativity that they want to do for their mental health. So I was just like, I know exactly what to do. And in association with them, I then developed this challenge. I sent them all of the teaching materials so they knew exactly what I would be sharing. And just, I, I love teaching it because it's simple. Like the strategies are simple. Sandra watched every single one of them. And this is like the third version of it. And every time I try to tweak the title so that we really get down to what it, what the outcome is. And the outcome is, 10 minutes every day where you can just be creative. You can do a super quick project like any of the ones that we have done in our art therapy sessions, but you've actually got your entire, not only your space, 
for your mindset. Everything is set up for this kind of flow of creativity in your life. And it's to make it so much easier, which is, yeah, what I absolutely love. And I cannot wait. Oh, like a never ending story. Never ending story. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Right. Oh, yeah. I move my camera first. Becca, I absolutely love the art from Stacey's workshop. So I am trying to decide which way I'm going to go. I'll go this way since I've already, I pre-taped my watercolor sheets down and I just want to make sure this will stay careful careful yeah okay so you'll be able to see the paint and you'll be able to see the layouts at the same time perfect 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 okay spray bottle um <clears throat> you don't necessarily have to use a spray bottle this brush is actually a little bit dirty um i've also got a wee cup of water here just wee tiny cup um we're going to be doing a wet on wet technique and you do not want to add too much water to your paper because we don't want it to buckle. That's the main thing. And it is important though that you are able to see like tiny pools and collections of water. Because what we're going to do is pick up the pigment and we're using the chibi palette first. We're going to pick up as much pigment as we possibly can, which is not a lot from this one. And we're just going to dip it and let it flow in the water and just let let it travel and we just go all around i'm also happy to try um some different colors like i know that in galaxies there could be lots of oranges and kind of yellows and stuff so if anybody has any suggestions or requests please yell yell out in the form of a comment um, oh, let's go for this lovely blue shade. So yeah, I need a tiny bit more water over here. And we want the, the colors to blend with one another. We want it to travel. Try this dark purple. Oh, I also wanted to show you this is the um the ink that I have. I will share a supply list with you guys later. Uh, it is a bleed proof white ink that I use in calligraphy. And you can just add a wee tiny bit of water, which is, oh no, you can't see anymore, which is when we do the splatters like in the stars. I know Lisa Richards was saying that she loves to use masking fluid, but I the, the white is just a tiny bit brighter, which is why I enjoy it. I'm just trying to get the darkness of the sky. That's what we want, right? And I may end up spraying it again, just so that the water travels a little more. Let me just, I'm just using a fabric scrap as a, let's try this dark blue, I'm not sure how dark it is. Mm, it's okay, it's a lot. So yeah, how was everybody's weeks? I asked that question and then I launched into something else. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, this is exactly why I love this. It is one of my favorites. I could like I have filled entire sketch pads before of just galaxies, and just playing with color and. wish that I could get it a bit darker. It's a bit light, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, let's see what happens if you add a bit of black. I think it might be. No, that could work. Look, it's a bit gray.
I'm just covering up a few of the purple parts because there's a lot of purple. I'm a bit worried to add any more water just because um, it's starting to rise, rise up. And if you don't like what you've done, you can always make it lighter and work over it. Oh, yeah. I've had to take a couple of days off. I don't know if you heard at the start, Stacey, but we've been looking after a dog and it is exhausting. Completely exhausting. God, I'm running out of paint. Ooh. Oh, although that's good. The, the black and the pink has worked. So, yeah, these um, cheapy palettes, they're quite difficult to turn into galaxies because you really want a lot of pigment. Gouache is great for this kind of thing, but I, I enjoy the watercolor process as well. Um, it's just difficult to blend them without removing all the pigment, you know. So I'm just going to do a tiny bit of blending work here. Just looks messy. And I'm intentionally trying to um, stick with this palette. And you can always go back in and add your bright, bright shades and pops of color. You can tell. Oh, that's like a big lump of paint. Oops. Oops. Look at that. So give me a drying brush. Try and blend some of this. Okay, leave that to dry and move on to the next one. Okay, I can get rid of this palette. <clears throat> As I say, it's good for, um, those palettes are good for quick you know, art journaling things when we're farting about with mark making and all the rest, but when I'm doing my galaxies, I'm always using these, ooh, these tubes. So that is Winsor Newton, and then these are Cotman. But the brand doesn't really matter. It was just I love opera paint and turquoise. My faves. So I should probably get some clean water. See, I'll just it doesn't really matter that it's getting like an underwash. It actually helps me see where all the water's going and where it's pooling, but there we go. So, I'm just gonna work on top of that. This is the, I'm pretty sure this one's indigo actually, I told lies. I'm nearly certain this one is indigo. Let me see if I can get you to look at that a bit better. Oh, look what I've got. It's the extra large pulley printer. Oh, 
I'm so excited. Hey, Anita. So am I able to show you this properly? Let me see. Oh, no. Sorry, camera. Because the camera is like over here and not in the middle, it is a little bit difficult. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, there we go. My word. Got there in the end, guys. We got there in the end. So, don't want it too wet. Anita, are you using the those kinds of palettes or do you have these or do you have um, a palette with pans in it? Like one of these. Oh, that's even better. That is from the G and Davenport palette. And I'm pretty sure that one's also called Indigo. I would wear that as a blouse, like a light lilac underneath. Yeah, the, the tubes or even the pans, they're fantastic. They're just so much more pigmented, especially the opera pink. Look at that. Oh, it is so bright. And then whenever the <clears throat> the opera pink kind of mixes with the indigo, brings out that lovely purple color. Actually, I'm gonna show you. This is the one that I did on Sunday that I share, shared in the group. It's just all these same three colors. I just need to iron it, flatten it, flatten it properly. So, God, I think I need to tighten my chair. Can you hear that? <laughs> just um, wetting my turquoise so I can lift it. Um, Becca, where have I put it? Opera pink, I think. I will, yeah, I'll give you a list. Because if I give you guys, um, like my, if I create a list on Amazon, then I will get a few pennies if you guys decide to buy something. And it really helps uh, kind of towards keeping these free sessions going, which is very important to me. So that would be very helpful if you guys could do that. But you are not obligated to at all. But yeah, I, I love the pigment in these tubes completely. And this one's just turquoise. And I keep it in literally like this is a travel palette so that you're able to can you see like put your brushes in there and stick your thumb through there oh can you see not really and um, hold hold like so of course sure I'm not going anywhere <laughs> and it's got these mixing bits that you and all you have to do is add water again and you can pick any of that up Do you have a dog, Stacey, or did I make that up? 
pretty forgetful, so I could have made it up. Yeah, Raven, what kind of doggy is she? I'm just going to go back to a slightly lighter blue. Uh, this one is the Prussian blue that I was talking about before. Just to lift it ever so slightly. Now you don't have to spray more water on to do the blending. You can just pick, pick some up from your cup and then add it that way. Because it, it reactivates the pigment, gets it flowing again. And you can even pick pigment up from different parts of the painting and of course it will remove some. Just depends how dark you want to go. And I always end up Hey Tosha! Ooh, a German Shepherd. Yeah, we're familiar with those. Alsatians? Love how dark that then the kind of it's like a navy. This is when um, tremors come in handy <laughs> for blending. I can't, I cannot believe Poopers was here just before I went live. She was about to jump in to just get involved in absolutely everything. And I can bet you all the money I have in my life that she is lying in bed now, just next door. Couldn't be bothered with anybody. I have no doubts. Uh, well, Purpose has been living upstairs this week, <laughs> so uh, pretty much the pair of us have been living upstairs. I hang out with the dog just a wee bit because he really is exhausting, although I do love him. He's great for snuggles, but yeah, he's very tiring. So I keep the, I keep Purpose company upstairs and then she's okay, but she's been happy as Larry because she gets to sleep in bed with me at night and she doesn't normally get that because it, it affects my sleep. and. As you guys know, us getting our sleep is so important. So I'm gonna pick up a bit more. Some purple. And then I'll put more pink on top. So what I'm doing here in any kind of area where there is light shades, I'm trying to add the pop of the pink. Yeah, 
It's a great pink. <laughs> I love it as well. It's my favorite. If you want to, you can go in and do a bit of smudging. Doesn't really matter when it comes to galaxies about um, lifting any paint with watercolor, mostly because you can always reapply. Just add water, lift the color, reapply. And again, you can't be a perfectionist about stuff like this. It's all about enjoying the flow, enjoying the process and seeing how your materials work and what happens. I think that looks quite good. I would like to lift a tiny bit of the pigment. Just, just make it a bit brighter in some areas. But, um, yeah, better. So that just needs to dry and then you move on to the speckles. So yeah, you can see the difference in pigment <laughs> between these two. Oh, actually, I'll show you right there. That's the difference between the cheap palette and the palette with the tubes. Now, I have put that pulley printer in front of where I normally set this, so please excuse me. And this, like the watercolor, it won't take long to dry. Um, oh my gosh, I am so excited. Okay, so I'm going to be doing, oh, excuse you. <laughs> an unboxing video of this this week and I cannot wait so I'm just gonna put that over there but yeah you can really as I said the cheap palettes are great for like painting backgrounds doing the um color meditations ah absolutely love those palettes for doing that but when it comes to something bright and super pigmented, nah, useless, absolutely useless. Oh no, the washi tape has like pulled off half the watercolor paper. Maybe because it's still a bit wet. But it's the cheapy palette, so I'm not really that bothered. I just give myself some room so I will be able to mix the the white. And for the the speckles, I like to use like a flathead brush or an angled brush. I'll show you. This is the one that I use the most. And you can tell because it's, it's got white bits. Like you want it white, uh, not white, you want them stiff. A bit like a toothbrush. And you can even, you, if you've got a really skinny um, paintbrush, like a really thin one, like an eyeliner one, you could do a couple of like uh, like line lines to make the stars a bit um, just a bit more varied. Sorry, I keep staring at this. That's what I'm looking. Uh, so I'm thinking of adding a couple of those lined versions. I just need to find the right paintbrush. I do know that I have some super skinny flathead ones. So yeah. This is perfect because it's kind of if you have any like dried up paintbrushes perfect this is the kind of thing you want like a toothbrush um you know i think that's all right actually so i'm going to prepare the white oh no wrong way oh no so let's see i'll see if i can tilt it no no i cannot oh, no. let me reposition um if you are worried about the tape that you use pulling up with the paper, I would apply heat first to kind of melt the glue a little bit better. So you can stick it on the radiator or you can use a wee tiny hair dryer um, and apply heat to release the adhesive. Make it a lot easier. Oh, thanks very much, Stacy. Gosh darn it. Yeah, there we go. And also be prepared to potentially paint your table. <laughs> it might happen. 
may not definitely have you can see i use this a lot i absolutely love it so i'm going to add a tiny bit of water in here because mine had it dried a little tiny bit just because it's been a while but i want it to be um more ink than water and then i will i'll add any extra onto another piece like another background just so i don't waste it but yeah you also don't want to have a lot on the brush before you do your um so let's see i think this part is the most fun that on Sunday, whenever I was doing, <laughs> I was doing my Test, test, test. Can you hear me? Ah, farts. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what to do. Okay, here we are. Here we are. So, like, that is it, pretty much. I mean, oh my gosh. I'm so stressful, guys. <laughs> so stressful. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the galaxy. Uh, I'll take it off the table. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And that could, so this is going to be going in my journal, but you could easily like trim that and turn it into like a little postcard for somebody or stick it on your wall or do whatever, Trevor. But I love it. But yeah, look at the state of that. And that's the, the cheaper one. So I will probably use this to like cut it up and like make collage elements out of it or anything anything like that so i have painted the table i have painted myself yes it has been a good session <laughs> i'm so glad that you were all able to join me today and i am thrilled that i managed to get back oh my god look at the state of that as well i think i need to put my um my rag in the wash so yeah thank you so much i would be very excited to have you join us in the challenge um i wanted to point out as well that if you have been struggling at all i am always here for you to help you with your mental health so if it is symptoms of depression anxiety even addiction issues you can book a call via clairedb.com forward slash art. It's 15 minutes. I won't be pitching you anything. We will just be discussing whether or not I would be a good fit for you. Because while these sessions that we do are excellent for your mental health, because you are being creative, you are in that mode, it's excellent for your brain, you get a boost of dopamine. With a one-on-one -on -one art therapy session, we actually then assess the things that you make. I ask a series of questions and it will help you figure out how you feel about certain things and help you actually to work through issues 
rather than just like relaxation techniques and things like that. So feel free to book a call, clairedb.com forward slash art, and I'd be happy to chat to you. And yeah, oh, this was so much fun. I would absolutely love to see your galaxies on the wall. Can't wait for that. I know I'm going to have to go and make a supply list for you, especially with that hot pink and the turquoise. Yeah, that that is that's the name of the pink for all types of paint. So it doesn't matter if it's watercolor or whatever. You can get opera pink in acrylic as well and markers and all the rest. That is like my go to pink. So that is what I always try and get my hands on. But yeah, thank you so much. I hope everybody registers for the challenge and please make sure after you register for the challenge to confirm your email because that is where all the info will be going, the reminders so that you don't miss it, all of that stuff. It's all going to be in the email with um, information and if I receive a lot of questions I will create an additional live on maybe the Sunday evening just to answer questions and chat to anybody who needs it and get that additional help. So yeah, thank you so much guys. It was just a wee quick one this week. That's how easy galaxies are to make. That's why you can make so many of them and I hope you had fun because I certainly did. Thank you. Bye.